Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our video. Today we're doing an unboxing video with oh the my so, This is a Scut 614 that was funded with a grant from Donors Choose. And uh, we're gonna take it apart, see what's in here. Well, let's go. Wait, you don't know what's in it? Wait, I don't think it's a mystery it. unboxing. Oh. First one, no. first pass one first. Open? Yeah. But that was Bro, boring. Wow. It's so we see that we have a metal contraption here. We don't know what it is, but we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. There's the spies. <gasps> what do the porcelain spies do? I don't know how to pull them. Let me try. They allow you to see inside the kiln when it's at top temperature. These are the spies they allow you to see inside the kiln during the top temperatures to check on the pottery. That one! Ooh, oh! Hook up! It is from the brand Scut. We're here to do a review. And my teacher? Scut is who I work for at Nsika. When I did the demo of the big pot, Ooh, on one of their wheels. Beautiful! Hey, get me! <laughs> full shot, full shot. Whoa! Whoa. What is that? What is that? It's just foam. Yes. Can, I, can you touch this? Can you touch this? Yeah. Wait, no, you can't. Yes, you can't. Ella. <laughs> you so cute. Oh, it's so tiny. Don't, don't. Yeah, don't it's a mini kiln. There it is. It's got the full. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Digital oh. controller. Wi Fi enabled. <laughs> I'm going to show an inside look. So these are the spy pox are in. No, so you can please. see inside of the kiln. Wait, can we have a QA over here? Yeah. Okay, question and answer. What is a kiln this small used for, Mr. Smith? A kiln this small is gonna be used for test firing, uh, glaze combinations with clay bodies. Also, when y'all, like for example, get a project done first and fast, or especially Miss Hayes class, the AP kids, and they need to fire a particular program then we can use this kiln to fire very unique programs as opposed to waiting until we have an entire kiln load of Classworks pottery to then turn over an entire 1027 or 1227 full of pots all together in the same schedule. So would you also put super, super fragile pieces that could break in, in, in other kilns with other pieces? Yeah, so that's that's a perfect application for this. And the shelves, you could build something on a shelf and then lower the whole shelf into the kiln if it was particularly fragile, like using paper clay or something that's a little bit like maybe a little bit sketchy balance. You don't want other people touching, things like that. Now, would you have to get some more shelves for this one? Because I know we have the bigger kilns and they require bigger shelves. So these come with shelves or do we have to acquire other ones? Because we acquired this with the grant. We would, however, we've got so many broken shelves. I've got a masonry saw for my angle grinder. I'm just gonna make ourselves some custom shelves. DIY. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. All right. DIY. DIY. Okay. Wait, Sorry. If, if we didn't get this from a grant, how much would a kiln like this cost? With the digital controller, that was a little bit of an upcharge. So we're looking at just over $2,000. So uh, with the digital aspect of this kiln, how does the Wi Fi work with the kiln? Uh, it'll depend on how this kiln links to the school's Wi Fi, but theoretically, I could let a piece dry out inside the kiln and schedule it to start firing overnight and then check on that progress with my cell phone. It is theoretically all digital. Your children are trying to do something nice for you. Ready? Thumbnail. Okay.